Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ultimate Bucket List, and on today's show, I show you around the Isle of Skye, one of the most beautiful places you'll see in your life. The Isle of Skye is on an island located just off the coast of Scotland, and it has some of the most staggering scenery that you'll ever see. In fact, this is what it's famous for natural rock formations, natural beauty, and it's some place that you have to visit once in your life. Unfortunately, when I came, it looked like this. Dark, gloomy, wet, all the things that you associate with Scotland. The main town is called Portree, and this is pretty much the largest town on the island, so this is where you'll probably start your journey. So the main town here on the Isle of Skye is a place called Portree. Now, admittedly, there's not that much to do here. In fact, apart from to eat places and to buy a few tacky souvenirs, that's about it. So I wouldn't spend too much time hanging around here. Get in here, take some pictures, use the facilities, and away you go. One of the places I highly recommend that you visit is the Talisca Distillery. As the only working distillery on the island, it can get a little busy, but the tour is actually not too bad. They show you the entire whiskey making process from start to finish, and they show you what it takes to make their specific brand of Scotch whiskey. And as with all tours, you get a sample afterwards, so you can at least drive home drunk. Nearby are the fairy pools, which you can see lots of wildlife and lots of cool rock formations. This is the Old Man of Store, the most visited attraction, and I actually made a separate video about this right here on my channel, and I highly recommend that you watch that because there's a lot of things that you have to consider before climbing this ancient rock formation. This is Kilt Rock Falls, and is literally down the road from the Old Man of Store. So it's been about 90 minutes since I tried to uh, climb the Old Man of Store, and the weather's just perfect now. You know, the weather here is really strange, um, and that's what you've got to expect when you come here to Sky. Yeah, that the weather is going to be uber unpredictable, but it's really lovely now, and uh, I'm really starting to have a good time. Admittedly, I couldn't see much standing at the fence looking at the falls, so I decided to fire up my drone and have an aerial view of it instead. It's actually quite an impressive looking falls. But if you carry on driving along the coastal road, you'll eventually get to the town of Weeg. But in my case, I decided to drive up the hills and onto this, the Quirang. This is an ancient steep rock formation, and to get the best possible views, you're going to have to drive up the hills. It can get a little treacherous, admittedly, but you do get some stunning views of this place. Eventually though, either the high road or the low road, you'll eventually get to the town of Weeg. Now, admittedly, there's not much there. It's a basic fishing town where you can pick up something to eat or whatever, but I wouldn't spend too much time there because there's, as you can tell, really nothing. But if you carry on driving past Weeg and towards the end of the earth, you'll come across some amazing scenery. And when you get to the end of the island, you'll see this, the Neast Point Lighthouse, which officially signifies that you've reached the end of the Isle of Sky. So I've literally reached the end of the earth. It took a while to drive here, but oh my God, totally worth it. I mean, check out the view from up high. This lighthouse is pretty staggering. And admittedly, if you were to explore the lighthouse itself, it's really nothing to write home about. Some of it's in a bit of a shabby state, but the views from the lighthouse are absolutely exemplary. From the surrounding area also, you get some pretty amazing picture opportunities. You can even be married here, which I think is kind of cool. But no matter where you drive on the Isle of Skye, you will literally see stuff like this. Impressive, natural beauty that doesn't cost you anything to drive around and have a look at. I mean, check this place out. 
If you do enjoy this sort of thing, the Isle of Skye is worth a visit. And check out some of the other things that Scotland has to offer, such as traditional Scottish dance, catch a game of shinty, or just drive around because you'll notice quite a lot of Scottish things to do. Okay, Nin, I'm sold. What do I need to do? Well, you need to drive here to the Isle of Skye. Admittedly, it's quite a hefty drive from the mainland, but you'll get to the town of Portree and you can get to every location from there. You're going to have to drive because obviously this is a remote Scottish island, so hire a car or bring your own. The cost to do these activities? Well, because most of them are natural beauty, it doesn't cost anything at all. Just find a place to park and walk around. Food and stuff is relatively inexpensive as well. Is there anything else I need to know? Yes, the weather here on Sky can be extremely unpredictable. So bring wet weather gear, dry weather gear, summer gear, winter gear and any gear you can find. If you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Comment on the comment section below and if you have any other bucket list ideas, tweet them at me and if I get enough suggestions, I'll go ahead and do that. So guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. As you can tell, it's chucking it down here today. It's not great weather, so I'm here at the Talisker Distillery instead. Yeah, something to do when it's chucking it down like this.